Hey everyone, uh, it's good to see you. I know it's been a while since my last video. So in today's video, I just wanna talk about what I've been up to and what's coming up in uh, future videos and stuff that I wanna sort of talk about and just help you guys out when you're running your businesses, especially you know in the, in the wedding films and video production world. And today is um, Friday, it used to be Mondays when I release a video, but now it's going to be every Friday. And just for fun, let's call it Finchy Fridays, because you're with me, Nick Finch. So since my last video, where I think I was discussing the Facebook Pixel, if you haven't already, just get it installed on your website because that just holds valuable data. Um, and obviously, go play that video to to you know to watch and learn some stuff about the Facebook Pixel and how I um, how I actually got some winning bookings from it when I ran some targeted ads and retargeted ads. So uh, it is very useful. Um, I also, just want to say um, that a lot of people have commented on a few videos with really nice comments so thank you for that and I haven't had the time to get back to replying to those but from now on I will be um, I'm sort of back to um, making the YouTube content so what have I been up to well let's just start off I had a terrible bad back during Covid um, lockdown 1.0 they call it here in the UK um, and for eight weeks I just couldn't really move. Um, I had a really bad case of sciatica, and it is horrible. Before lockdown, I had a mild case of it, and I was seeing a chiropractor, but um, I did some stupid TikTok video um, where my wife was climbing over my back, and that next morning, I just woke up in serious pain, um, and for the first two to three weeks, I couldn't even do anything. Um, it used to take me two hours to sort of warm up and move and be able to do stuff, couldn't even sit down. I had to sit down on a hard, if I was sitting down, I'd just sit down on a hard chair for eight weeks. Um, but I'm glad that's all over. Um, I've also changed my business name and I've got some more services that I offer, not just where it was mainly 80% of it was wedding films and I did a bit of video production stuff for businesses. But now I changed my name. And I still do wedding films. And for me personally, I would love to just have one a month um, with all my other products projects going on, such as uh, social media content. So that is video and photos for video uh, for businesses. Um, and I've with that one, I've sort of gone down two two sort of services. One. They hire me for a couple of days. I go in, just film and get loads of content, produce them a nice uh, promo video and loads of little snippets. And you know, I could get like 50 odd um, videos and photos and then leave it them with that. And that, that's the one service. Or they get that and then I create the content and schedule the posts for them, which ideally for me um, with my business model is that's what I want. I want more regular businesses pay me monthly fees to do the social media content and management rather than chasing always chasing that one business especially with wedding films that's exactly what it is you're always chasing that one booking um you know a lot of time and effort goes into just to make that one booking i know you get a lot of money from it but um i just want to sort of that repeat business um the other services i offer is more photography now so my trade has always been videography um, I'm a videographer, that's what I loved, video production. Never really got into the photography side. Um, obviously I've got the Canon uh, 6, was it 6D Mark II. Um, I say obviously that's if you do follow me, you know that's my B cam at weddings. Um, so I did a lot of, um, I, I call it seasonal, occasional shoots where I set up some Halloween shoots in my studio here because part of my new business is this space you see me in now is officially registered um, and this is my official home office um, won't go too much into it but uh, yeah so this is I can officially have people come in to my studio um, so I did some Christmas shoots as well I know it's only early December 
um, but I have just finished those because I've got all other projects going on. I ran that for four weeks, um, had about 50 customers, uh, got them in here, snapped the shots, um, produced some nice images. In fact, I'll upload one of my daughter here. Um, so I sort of put these different effects on it, um, do a bit of editing. And that's sort of the style I went for with my very first time doing the photo shoots. Do some newborn photography. And I've had a lot of requests from the Christmas shoots if I do family photography, you know, like the outdoor, outdoor family photography. So that's another stream I'm going down. Plus I did my first cake smash as well over the last few weeks. Um, so I'm sort of pushing more, not just the video side, but the photography side for both businesses and um you know families i don't i'm not going into wedding photography at the moment um i just I, I honestly prefer filming um leave that to the photographers um i'm just sort of i'm no pro in photography that's why i wouldn't really do a, a wedding yet um I, I i'm comfortable enough to create a set um and do outdoor shoots with families and that sort of stuff, but actual wedding, not for me personally, not yet. Uh, what else? Website design as well. That's another service I offer. Um, basically, I'm more of a digital media company now um, because I used to freelance web design as well because I've actually got a degree in digital media. Um, so it sort of makes sense for me to offer more services. And the last service, I know there's a lot here, is SEO, so search engine optimization. I've done a lot on my own websites. And um, I've got, I'm going to have some great videos discussing. Um, I'll probably just run through the basics of it. Because um, if you know, you should, if you've got your own business, um, either be putting in the time and effort yourself or paying someone like me um, to do it. And sometimes it might look like a lot of money, but it is, it is definitely worth um, investing that sort of time or money into building your own websites up. Um, and, and that's going back to a bit like my social media content where I want businesses to be paying me more monthly so I get a few ongoing monthly payments from businesses rather than chasing the same like individual businesses for that one that one time big video production payments um, I've got some great projects coming up I've got um, I've just done some great work with the florist um, with their Christmas wreaths. Did some promo videos and a sort of online um, make your own wreath tutorial video. But now they've just commissioned me to make um, at least 30 um, online training videos for their flower school. Um, so that's a big project starting um, next well next year in probably January we'll start having the pre meetings um, and hopefully just get some filming under under the way under the go um, and that's going to be a good couple of months project before my weddings pick up plus keeps me busy with all the other little I've got a few customers already with the social media and SEO um, so I'm really happy with my new business model and the direction it's going. Um, and that's why I just want to, like, my YouTube channel has always been about helping, um, just giving you my experience. Um, you know, you can take it with a pinch of salt. Um, this channel, you know, I've got a few affiliate links where I list my kit. But um, honestly, I don't make much money from this. This is kind of um, just just a way to sort of just let other people know what I do and um, hopefully just help someone, which I've had some lovely comments from people and I know it does. Uh, oh, and there's some amazing new kit that I'm looking to buy. Um, where do I start? So you've got the, so I'm filming on the Canon uh, C200. You've got the C70 just released. Um, and in all honesty, if I was trying to buy a cinema camera, I probably wouldn't buy the C200. I would buy, I'd buy two of them for the price of the one, um, especially if you're filming weddings. So my my ideal setup now. This is probably for. To be honest, wedding is next year. I'm still I'll still love a few more bookings. I've got loads of bookings for 2022 now. Um, so I had post postponements for next year from this year. Um, I had quite a few cancellations altogether. I ended up having no weddings this year. Well, since the pandemic. Um, 
I did get some bookings with the Facebook ads that I put in the last video uh, for next year and I had them for this year as well. But as soon as I sent out the contracts uh, for two brides, this was for getting married this year, um, they both completely ghosted me. Um, and I think that's because they were a bit unsure on the circumstances. And because of that, I've actually got a new, um, I call it COVID cover uh, statement in my contract where I now then, if they have to change it, I, I give, if they have to cancel due to COVID, any money received, I'll give it as a full refund now. Um, including the deposit. I think I was scaring off a few brides who were planning on getting married this year with um, taking £200 deposit and they could potentially lose that. So um, I've sort of got that in my contract now um, after losing a couple of a couple of weddings from this year. Uh, but just going back to, I know I'm rambling and I, I knew this video would be me rambling, uh, just getting back into filming myself again. But um, my ideal setup would be my A cam at weddings is the Canon, this one what you see me on, uh, the C200, and I'd probably get two. I know it's a lot of money, um, but I just love, I love the feel of the camera, uh, the look. I'd probably get the C70s, two of them, as my B and C cams. And the best thing about them is uh, that, you know, there's no record limits. I know there's cheaper cameras out there from like the Sony range, um, but I love Canon. I love the cinema look. Um, so yeah, you don't get the record limit factor um and you can just run the cameras small enough to go on a gimbal i mean I, I i've got a video on how i balance my c200 on a um ronin s um but that would balance even better and i would probably at a wedding i'll probably have one dedicated just for that as well on the ronin um and then i'd use use the cameras for when i film properties just make everything a lot easier um and i'm excited I'll probably buy one before that big project I've got for the wedding flowers school as well. So probably January time, see if there's a good deal, end up buying a C7, Canon C70. Um, you've got the new Ronin uh, S2 out, um, looks sick. Personally, I've got the Ronin S. I I won't bother buying it just yet. I've, I've hardly, in all honesty, I hardly use mine. Um, my go-to gimbal is still my trusty, um, got it just looking at me there, um, Glidecam. HD 4000, it's all in, um, if you go to my website, I've got all my kit that I use on there. Um, I literally love it. It does get heavy with the C200, but what gimbal wouldn't get heavy? Um, oh, and you've got the Zoom F2, new field um, lapel mic, the field recorder, which has 32-bit um, rate um, recording, and that'll be the quality you'd get um, from weddings, if you might, the groom up or whoever with that would be amazing. Um, but honestly, the Zoom F1, the quality of that is is fantastic. I'm still gonna get some Sony, uh, what was it, 650s, um, as for the speeches, just as backups, get three of them for the, the individual speakers there. Um, so that's a bit of kit that I wanna buy. Uh, but yeah, there's, you know, there's some great kit out there, kit out there if you're looking to expand your business, and that's what I've been up to. What, um, so yeah, so look forward to next week, especially if you're interested with the SE, with the search engine optimization stuff. Um, some of that is going to be like really good info. I try and keep it basic, um, just go through simple steps at first. Um, and if you get stuck with anything or you want to pay me, um, take my services up to help you. Um, and I know this is worldwide, but ideally I'm looking for UK customers if I did that rather than than sort of America. And oh, I've got some great, because I also have some web projects that I do as well. As um, I've, I've been running them for years and in lockdown over the last few months, I've um, relaunched one that I started about five years ago just when I was getting married called Wedding Hive. So it's weddinghive.co.uk. Again, it is for the UK um, market. It's, um, there's a lot out there. And when I first designed it, it was, I wasn't even a wedding supplier at the time. And there was, there was, a, there was a few out there, but the market wasn't that big. And because obviously I had an interest in web design, I thought I'd set my own up. Um, but it's got free 
free pl wedding planning tools such as uh, wedding websites where guests can RSVP and put in their food allergies and send messages to the bride and groom. Um, it's got what's it got a checklist, pin board of ideas. Um, so it's got a few little planning tools, and again for brides and grooms, this is all free. Um, and it's got the suppliers directory, which when I originally set this up, I was like, oh, I'll charge wedding suppliers uh, £30 a month to just list their business. Um, but not anymore. I've completely, re being a wedding supplier, I sort of know what people are willing to pay a month, um, especially when there is a few of these services out there. Um, so for the wedding suppliers directory, I've got two two listings. Got two listings. Uh, one is a free one, and one is five only five pound a month. Um, and if you're on the premium one, so, sorry, the platinum one, which is five pound a month, um, you can write blogs, um, which this will help in two ways. One, it will help brides and grooms planning their wedding. They'll get useful information, um, and then they might even book you because you've written the blog and all your business information is there and it also puts a link to your website which is a backlink which again all helps with your SEO um, and I'm going to have a shop on there which is just affiliate links which is linked to Amazon um, and for, for me if it generates a bit of money great it's sort of like a little project I've developed um, it's not going to make me millions of pounds but you know if it brings in a couple of hundred pounds a month I'll be landed um, and I've also got inspiration and ideas where again this that's gonna be in three sections um, still developing this part but the whole the whole website is live um, but this is um, the bit that still needs a little bit of developing along with the shop which is um, I'm gonna film other wedding suppliers um, so people can get to meet them on camera and see see them in person and what services they offer and just discuss anything wedding related and again anything useful for brides and grooms which again will they might get some bookings from it especially if they're in the local area from where these brides and grooms are trying to get married um, I'm gonna have real wedding articles as well so people can learn from other people's weddings and quite simply I'm gonna start with the weddings I've filmed um, email my brides and grooms if they'll um, send them out a questionnaire and then I will create an article about that and there might have been something else on on that one there were it was in three sections um, off the top of my head I can't quite remember but so the so weddinghive.co.uk is, is a big there's a lot to it um, I've completely redesigned it um, so if you are a UK wedding supplier go have a look go sign up it's all free at the moment because it's in sort of the beta mode so the platinum features for wedding suppliers is in um, is free because I've just want people to test it. I've asked people wedding suppliers I've met on other wedding on the weddings I've been to to uh, sign up um, and just let me know if there's any uh, problems. You know, I would like you to create your business listing, make it live, create blogs, um, and just sort of get some content on there, which will help brides and grooms. So again, like I said, all free at the moment. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with that. So yeah, I've been pretty busy. Um, so I've got that sort of ongoing. Um, and I'm also sort of still, because of COVID, my wife's part-time. I've still got one day a week, I still look after my daughter as well. So I've got four days a week where I sort of down to my business. Um, and that's why I'm now doing the YouTube again because I've got a bit of time uh, before, like literally a few weeks ago, I only have two to three days and I was just concentrating on my business, but now I've got a, like an extra day where I can film for you guys and just sort of help you. Um, but I'm now really, really looking forward to the future. 2021 for me personally should be very good, very exciting. Um, I get very busy and hopefully buy some more kits. So I'll see you next week. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, especially in the videography world and just want some helpful tips. I've got it all, you know, tutorials, kits, tips, just day-to-day -day business stuff. That's what I do. So it is a bye from me and I'll see you next Friday. Ciao.